guys, this is your reading for Saturday the 3rd of December. Thanks for joining me. Let's have a look at what's coming up for you today. And I'm using the Green Witch Tarot again. So let's see. I have to say, this is one of the most ethereal and beautiful Queen of Chalices, Queen of Cups I've ever seen. I've not seen this card before. It's absolutely beautiful. I think this is so gorgeous. The Queen of Chalices is... A woman who has seen the ups and downs of life, who's been through emotional turmoil, who's had to scuttle off to the side just to make do and to cope with things. And she's graduated and she's come to a place of security and structure in her life. And she's come to a place of emotional security and structure in her life. Not only that, she's gone beyond that and she's got this huge chalice. She's, her heart is wide open and she's got so much love to give. And not only that, she loves herself as well. She sees the inner beauty and she understands that from a sense of inner beauty comes the ability to extend that love to others and to really connect with them in a genuine, beautiful level. And also, she is not a pushover. You know, she's got her little throne here at the edge of the sea. If someone comes up to her and wants to take advantage of her, she's going to take that chalice and say, you know, not with me, buddy. I've been there and done that. So she's loving and kind, but not in a naive sense, in a way that is very much about, you know, I've been there and I've graduated. So this is mature love. This is genuine. So this is something you can trust. So you can go into the day really on this level. The queen of chalices is with you. She's kind of extending her energy to you and if there are things that you feel good about or there are people in your life who you um, want to be close to you can really trust that that it's a wise and mature and good choice next we've got the page of at the maze okay so we've got three court cards we've got the queen of chalices the page of at the maze which is swords and then the knight of chalices okay so the page of at the maze it's the Page of Swords, and she's just learning witchcraft. She's just learning. She's here in the woods. She's learning. She's doing some sort of ritual there. Wise Old Owl, Mr. Wise Old Owl, he's sitting there supporting her, saying, you can do it. The moon is illuminating this magical scene and making it all happen. So it's about learning to create magic via your own feelings, I would say. And learning how... If I'm really genuine, because a lot of us, you know, if we go on dates and things, we all kind of try and put our best foot forward. You know, we all try and present ourselves in a way that we feel other people will like. And we all try and put our best kind of side out there. And what this is saying is that if you're really your true self and you love yourself and you remember what you've been through and where you've come from, and you're really open and honest about that. You can really start to learn how to create magic. And then we've got the Knight of Chalices, which is extreme. Again, because it's a night, but it's extreme in the romantic sense. So that is what's heightened today. We've got a real potential for love and magic and something that really is um, almost like storybook infatuation. Like, um, you know, our eyes met across the room and that was it. We knew. Or um, I was shopping at the supermarket and I dropped my spaghetti bolognese and I bumped into someone and oh my God. I picked up the spaghetti and it was all over. We met. <laughs> We've been together ever since. So it's heightened. It's extreme. And that's why I gave those examples because it's over the top. Night cards are always over the top. It's always too much. And the Knight of Chalices is Romeo. He will die for love. He is. Love is his trophy. Love is the ultimate priority in his life. The thing that he will pursue beyond anything. Okay. But... The starting point of the day is emotional experience, and that's you, okay? So this is what I think is the, the, the guiding force here, the queen of chalices. You can activate these two things by realizing where you've come from, where you've been. You'll have an opportunity today to create loving emotional magic, and it's going to be heightened in some way. It's going to be exceptional. It's going to be something that's extraordinary and something that doesn't happen every day. You know, our eyes don't meet um, our loved one across the room for the first time every day that only happens once and then you're together for however many years so this is an exceptional day where there's real potential for love and to find true love and i personally think it's it's really really good for for people in a sense of another person so you know romeo and juliet 
But also, I think it could be creating magic in a skill and having a breakthrough in terms of what you've been trying to work on and really having that magical breakthrough moment where it's like, oh my God, I've created something that I absolutely adore and absolutely love. So it could go either way in that sense. But fundamentally, there's the potential to really fall head over heels for someone or something and to really have an exceptional out of the ordinary day. Number wise, we've got the queen and the page and the knight, that is three. And three in numerology is about uh, new beginnings and expression. So go out there, um, express your true feelings, don't put on a facade, and something really wonderful can come into your life today. Have a wonderful, amazing, magical day. I hope you have such a great outcome to this day. If you would like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab and you can order your reading with me there. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll speak to you tomorrow.